Sean Bradshaw from CyberFret.com, and in this lesson I'm going to show you the Secret 38 Special Court. Now, this court is done in more than just 38 Special, but I actually learned this tune many moons ago in the 38 Special tune, Hold On Loosely, and uh, it's actually in some other, I remember it being kind of one of those chords that seemed to happen a lot in 38 Special, so I kind of ended up calling it the 38 special accord before I kind of knew exactly what it was. But um, first of all, let's kind of look at it in, in that uh, kind of chord progression I was just playing and then I'll explain it a little bit more. So if we start out here on the seventh fret of the fifth string, put my first finger there and then put my pinky on the fourth string at the ninth fret and play just those two strings, the fifth and the fourth strings, that right there is an E power chord, just a two note power chord. And then to kind of get to our secret 38 special chord, the magic is all you do is move your first finger and your pinky stays where it was. Now what this chord actually is, it's a B chord with a D sharp in the bass. Now it's really easy to finger, you know, really hard to say fast. You know, B with D sharp in the bass. B slash D sharp. This is called a slash chord. And if you ever see a chord symbol where you see something slash something else, all right, what you see, what you're gonna see to the left of the slash is the basic chord. So this is a B chord. Slash D sharp, instead of B being the lowest note in the chord, you know, if I was just gonna play, say, a, a basic B bar chord, you know, B is the lowest sounding note. But one of the other notes that's in the chord, there's actually three notes that make up uh, major chords. And in the case of a B chord, that's a B, a D sharp and an F sharp. So what I have here is a D sharp. And up up with my pinky, I'm actually playing the B. And I I never do play that third note. You know, it's it's you can sometimes kind of imply chords, you know, even though there's technically three notes in a B chord, just having these two is enough to kind of imply that B major sound. So you know, if I was to kind of throw the B on the bottom here with my uh, second finger, you know, then I would have, you know, it'd be a, a way to play a B major with B in the bass. But this this is going to be a uh, B slash D sharp. Then I'm going down here for this tune. I'm going down to the D power chord, so just the same same thing, only starting at the fifth fret. And in this case, I have an A slash C sharp. Again, it's an A chord with a C sharp in the bass. Another place that you might have heard this. Right there, I have a C power chord, and then actually a G slash B, but it's the, again, that same configuration. So this kind of chord is done all over the place and just, uh, it's often done in conjunction with a two note power chord where you're either lowering your first finger one or you start off with this one and go up. Kind of a little extra cool thing if you just wanna play around is it's a great way to kind of switch keys and without going into any theory, uh, if you just kind of listen to this. So I, I can kind of move anywhere on the neck as long as I 
precede what I'm doing with this new chord, your new 38 special chord, and then just move up your finger one fret. Voila, I'm in a new key. All right, so no matter what you're doing, right before, just go. New key. So you can go, go anywhere with that and just kind of play around with it. But have new fun with your new slash chord, 38 special secret chord. Have a good one. If you want to learn more about slash chords or alternate bass note chords, be sure to check out my Rhythm Guitar Mastery course. Rhythm Guitar Mastery systematically builds your vocabulary of essential guitar chords and gives you the secrets of strumming like a pro with a detailed system for mastering rhythms.